What's going on, sports fans? So it's finally here. Tony Romo has officially announced that he's retiring from the NFL and will pursue a broadcasting career with either NBC, CBS, or Fox. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be sad about it because it, it kind of feels like he didn't get his fair share to um, go out on his own terms, but it's a business like they always say, and it, does, it doesn't really matter who you are. And, um, you know, Jerry Jones, he proved to be one of the most vicious savages out there in the... Um, you know, as an owner right now, because, you know, that whole do right rule thing that he's been talking about for the last couple of weeks, the relationship that he and Tony Romo had was so, um, it was so bonding that I just really think he didn't want to let him go. And I know that that seems selfish. And I know a lot of Cowboy fans are not going to know how to feel about it, but you do have Dak Prescott. And I do believe that he's the real deal, even though, you know, I'm not a Cowboys fan. I think that he has enough to grow with that offensive line and that running back. And I know there's still those doubters that are like, yo, what if he didn't have the running back in Ezekiel, Ezekiel Elliott? What if he didn't have that ferocious offensive line? You could say that about a lot of Super Bowl teams. So I'm not going to go into an F and Y and when situation. All I'm going to say is this. Tony Romo is a very, very fortunate man. And um, starting back with Bill Parcells, when Bill Parcells didn't want to put him in, I know you guys remember about that, when that whole debacle happened, he did have a decent career, but he's going to be remembered as a guy that was very, very fragile. It, it is what it is. When the big, Even with Seattle, where he, he botched a fumble for a field goal, everything about this man has been a debacle. Um, I know it seems as if it's like, oh, yo, bro, uh, you know, he did have great seasons. He did. Um, we could talk about that all night, but he never won anything that meant anything to the Cowboys. And I know people are going to say, but yeah, Dak Prescott didn't win anything either. Um, he's a rookie. You understand what I'm saying? And he already took a team way further than Tony Romo with, the, you know, pretty much with with um, a better record, an easier route, and the defense just couldn't hold up is what really happened with Dak Prescott. I think he came back late in that game and proved that he has the it factor. Um... You know, so looking forward, I don't even know if Tony Romo was going to be a good commentator. I don't think based on what I've seen from him and the way he speaks. You know, I saw his farewell speech. I've seen him sometimes, you know, talk outside of, you know, the NFL. I don't know if he's going to be engaging and be one of those like John Madden types. I don't think John Madden can ever be duplicated just because of the energy that he brought. I'm not saying he was the best commentator, but the energy that he brought to the game is something that I really, really appreciated. Uh, I don't know if Tony Romo has those attributes. I'm not going to say he doesn't. I'm going to wait to see. But the bigger issue is what's going to happen with the Cowboys now. All of this took so long to do. The whole defense walked out. There's no defense for the Cowboys right now. You got a Giants team in the NFC East that's ready to, yo, oh my, oh my goodness. Regardless of what you think about Eli Manning, Brandon Marshall and OBJ are going to be nightmares in the NFC East. And the Cowboys already didn't have defense to start off with. Now, you did all this. Jerry Jones did all this to hold on to Tony Romo and to try to get a trade and to do all these other things. And now he walks away from the game. So what did you really get? The only thing I could think about right now is that for some reason, the Seahawks are really serious about trading Sherman and Jerry Jones puts up his first round pick and some cash and gets Sherman in order to save the Dallas Cowboys. I really, look, I, the Cowboys fans have been looking for a Super Bowl for a very, very long time. It's not going to happen next year. It's just not. Their defense, it's not going to happen. They already didn't have a decent defense. Now the whole defense walks out. They got to do a lot of things right now. You know what I'm saying? I know Brandon used car. You know, he was trash. But, he, you know, he was, su you know, sufficient in a defensive scheme. You know, that was there. It, it, it's... It's really, really bad right now defensively for the Cowboys. I like them offensively. Don't get me wrong. Offensively, they could put up points with anybody. But defensively, I think Jerry Jones has angered a lot of Cowboy fans by holding on to Tony Romo for this long, completely ruining, 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 ruining free agency. It just doesn't, none of this makes any sense. Because if you really think about it, Tony Romo couldn't survive behind that great offensive line. I don't think he was going to be able to come back and haunt them. And I know people are going to say, but look what Peyton Manning did with the Colts. No, that was complete. You can't compare Peyton Manning to Tony Romo. That doesn't make any sense. Completely different worlds. Completely. So all in all, I wish Tony Romo the best with his, you know, with his commentating broadcasting career. But again, the Dallas Cowboys being a decent team does a lot for the NFL and their ratings and everything like that. Because regardless of what you guys think about, you know, Patriot fans or whatever, Jerry Jones has put them on the map as America's team. 
and it still remains that. So if you like them or not, it doesn't really matter. The bottom line is if they suck, it definitely hurts the ratings. And right now, defensively, I don't know what they're going to do this year. I, if, you're a, if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan, I want to hear your insight. Let me know what you're thinking about it. Again, congratulations, Tony Romo. Happy retirement, bro. I'll see you guys next time. One love.